Right, so today we have started the first cut at the barn. Dodge and showers, I suppose last week forecast was good and then it changed and then it's dried up and ah, it's going to be one of them seasons I think but we're cutting anyway. We've had it with all the mowing power we, we've got. So we've got the fast track on the tankos, we've got the 7810 as on the front rear and Farmer Garth 155 is on his Cavernland so he's opening up the fields there. Owen is actually on the 7810 so me and Ham's kind of bringing up the rear and dropping it in the middle so yeah. say as class <laughs> on the front and backs he's just that as unreal it's, it's a real pleasure to watch and to listen to I nearly wish I was driving at him <laughs> what a class rig and uh, yeah Tango's may have seen we picked them up uh, I think the Facebook picture went kind of viral <laughs> Because the fast track, you'd swear they were made for each other, that's my one set up to look at anyway, and practice. Um, yeah, a few wee things maybe, but lovely set of moors now, they seem to be cutting the ground and floating over the ground really nice, the front moor especially. And then it's the 9 metre rear set up we have, which is the smaller set, that's the M9A as the rear set. And then we have the front board to match. Um, that's obviously the same in both sets. You get a 10 metre rear as well, which we seen last year. Tango was running there, sort of tour with the, the set of mowers. So yeah, they're different to work with now. It takes a wee bit of getting used to, I must say, just on side castings, etc. There you just need a um, just be careful it messes, but there's ways of working it just with the, the steering and that. Um, fast track, I don't know the four wheel steer, I think, with the, the steering mowers. I think when you're on a line mowing, you have to switch off the four wheel steer because she kicks the headstock of the. I'd be fine if you're in perfectly flat ground, but like if you're in a wee bit of a side cast and it's all or that. She kicks the headstock very quick, which steers the mowers then, and um, which is not the mowers' fault. Um, I just, uh, but it's fine if you switch off the four wheel steer in there. It seems to help it greatly, so the mowers can be left it sort of uh, side to side. So there's a little switch and bumps here, whichever one you want to left or lower. Um, and then that's on your spill then, whichever one you select. They're pretty simple that way. Definitely very handy go about. The steering at the rear, obviously it just steers like a rake. Really, that's the best way I can describe it. Or you can override it with your spill valve and force steer it left or right. You know, if you want to steer it off a post or make it follow you up onto a lane or get into the, the hill at the back of the farm there, there's a really tight turn off the, the lane. Um, like a normal triple setup would would struggle at times and harvesters would struggle and uh, as tight now you're onto the lane and this was able to go in and out because if you can get the front more in or out, the rear should follow where you're steering. That's impressive that way. Definitely, I would just take a wee bit of getting used to, I suppose it's technique and just different really, but they are different, like it's a new design on the, the market really, and you know it's a way of getting triples onto 
that smaller frame tractor, like uh, 200 horsepower, I'll still be able to work with them. I think that's more the the, the thinking behind the design of these. They're you able to utilize the modern tractor where, you know, you are getting 180 plus horsepower now in your average farmer's tractor. Uh, maybe, maybe the tractor's not just heavy enough to be working with a set of four ton mowers in the back but it has the power to run them so these are an option they're definitely not hard to drive these auto cuts unless it's flat field um, ah, it's decent enough crop on it and like i'm cruising there at sort of seven and a half eight mile an hour but i was able to push her up there to over 10 mile an hour so like probably would have took more if you don't want it but like I don't think there's any need to be mowing any faster. I would say look the fast track we're on on the mod here there's no issue with horsepower anyway like they're a baggish tractor I suppose she's definitely overkill I would say for these mowers. It'll be nice to see them which we'll probably do we'll put them on to like your 145 or 155 R John Deere and see how they go on on that. It'd be nice mowers in the 820 I would say it'd be a nice match. Hopefully it stays dry and we can get this grass in, get everything prepped for the morning then for starting to row up and get a lift it.